The moment we have been waiting for is finally upon us. Axie Homeland is here. In this game, you will be able to gather resources, craft food, potions, weapons, and armor, equipped adventurers with all of these items so that they can do epic battles. You'll even be able to upgrade and customize your plot to your heart's content. What's going on, Axie fam? My name is Ryan Meditate, and I am here to guide you through your first steps in Axie Homeland. It may be a bit overwhelming at first because of the sheer amount of new content there is to explore, but that's exactly why I am here to help you out, and by the end of the first hour, you should have this down as second nature. Now when you first load up the game, you'll be met with your two starter axes and two structures. The rest, you have to build on your own. Now the first thing I recommend doing is clicking on this little settings icon in the top left. This will allow you to change the graphical settings to be optimized for your specific PC. I also recommend toggling the show hotkey button. This will allow you to navigate the user interface with your keyboard, which will massively speed up the process. Now by looking on the top left, you'll see your player icon and your plot icon. By clicking on that little information button, it'll show you all the info you need to know about your plot. By clicking on the top of the window, you'll actually be able to rename your plot to whatever your heart desires. You will also be able to assign a special property to your plot, but please keep in mind that you can only do this one time. Now your plot of land will start off as normal type, but each of these special properties will come with both pros and cons. If you own multiple plots of land, then you may want to specify one plot specifically for agriculture, or one plot specifically for metalwork. But if you're just unsure, or you only have one plot to work with, then it's best to just stick with the normal type. From here, you're going to want to start collecting resources so that you can build more structures and go from plot to village to city to empire. But you'll quickly notice that your axes are just standing around idle, not really doing anything. So we've got to give them a task. First off, to get a better view of your surroundings, use the wheel on your mouse to adjust the zoom settings. To keep your axes busy, simply click on the resource in question, click the little axe icon, and the next available axie will automatically start performing that task. For an even faster method, simply left click the mouse button over the resource and an axie will automatically start gathering that resource. You can even queue extra tasks for an axie to begin working on once they've finished their original task. Now, while there are a ton of different resources in this game, the main two are wood and stone. And once you have enough of these, you're going to be able to start creating more structures and upgrading your plot. Now, if you watch your axes gathering wood long enough, you'll notice that they have to walk all the way from the tree to the altar every time they have a full load. So the first structure I'm going to create is a wood pile for wood storage. So instead of having to walk all the way back to the altar, they're only gonna have to walk a few steps to the new wood pile. To create a new structure, you can click the C button on your keyboard or click the hammer in the bottom right. This will toggle the construction menu. We can then click on our woody warehouse and place it near the trees that need to be gathered. And once the construction is finished, axes will only have to walk a few steps to deposit their load of wood. Now say you finished gathering all the trees on the top right corner and now you wanna get all the trees on the bottom left corner. Well, it's actually extremely easy to move buildings from one spot to another for wherever your next construction site is. Simply click on the building in question, click on the top button shown here and you'll be able to instantly move any structure to any other spot on your plot of land. Now every single building in the game has a very specific utility and it's very important to both build and upgrade almost every single one of these buildings. But in order to go from this to this, you're going to need to have a very strong understanding of the Altar of Atia. This is the Altar of Atia, and it acts like your base of operations. By clicking on the Altar and clicking the Research button, a whole new menu will pop up with everything that you're able to research. Researching does take time, but it is completely free. And for each thing that you research, it will allow you to either upgrade an existing structure or build a brand new building that you haven't seen before. And the more you upgrade your altar of Atia, 
there will be way more things you can build, way more stuff you can research, and way more axes you can have under your control. But upgrading the altar does cost a significant amount of gold, so you're going to have to start making some money. Now, later on, you will be able to directly sell equipment to adventurers for gold. But when you're first starting out, you're going to have to complete some quests. To view your quests, click on the journal icon on the top left. You can complete each of these quests one time, but you will unlock more quests as you level up and progress through the game. Now, if you press K or the little scroll and quill icon on the bottom right, you will see your daily and weekly quests, and these quests are constantly refreshing. This will be your main source of gold, and you'll find that just by playing the game naturally, you'll start to fulfill these quests before you know it. Now, say you're in need of a very specific resource that you can't find on your plot. Well, you can actually press the two button on your keyboard and it'll expand out to the world view. And you can actually look at other people's plots and send your axes to steal their resources. Your axes will actually walk all the way from your plot to the resource in question. But keep in mind, the farther away the resource is, the more time it'll take. You can also send your axes out to resource nodes for basic resources such as trees. Now, expanding the user interface, if you're anything like me, your eye is immediately going to be drawn towards this leaderboard button. There are two leaderboards here. First, showing who has made the most progress in their land development. And secondly, showing who has made the most progress in the Lunasia Adventure. Now, my first thought was land development, of course, this is obvious, but Lunasian Adventure, what is this and how do I become a part of it? Lunasia Adventure is very important. This is where you're able to send adventurers into battle and even watch as they battle through multiple floors and multiple hordes of enemies to perform their very best as a warrior. The more enemies they defeat, the more points you will earn and the higher you will be on the leaderboard. But, in order to start participating in Lunasian Adventure, you will need to first build a survivor shop. Otherwise, your adventure tabs will look like this. So go ahead and build your survivor shop, and once it is finished, you will be able to click on your adventure trading tab, and you will notice all your adventurers line up, ready to trade and go into battle. Now, new adventurers will only appear after a given amount of time, but they will continue to appear until your queue is full. After releasing your adventurer for battle, you can then click on the Lunasia Adventurer tab to view the results of all your past battles or watch your adventurer live as he battles through the floors. Now, once you progress a little bit further, you'll be able to equip things like food and weapons to your adventurers, and you can actually review their stats and skills to make sure that you're giving them the best item for the adventurer and have them perform the best they possibly can. Now, let's talk about aesthetics. When you're ready to start decorating your plot of land, click on the construction button, then click on the little flag icon. Click on decoration library and you will then be able to see all of the land items that you are currently holding in your Ronin wallet. You can only select up to 10 different styles of item per plot. So go ahead and select your items and then you'll be able to place them anywhere you'd like. And before you know it, you'll have a gorgeous piece of land fit for an Axie King. Now, if at any point you are confused about what something does, you can always click the little information icon next to the structure, and it will give you all the available information on that structure and what its utility is. The auction house is also very important. Here you are able to buy and sell resources and equipment from other players. By clicking on the item in question, it'll tell you what plot it is located on, how long it'll take to get to you, and you can choose how many you'd like to purchase. Simply press confirm, your order will finalize, and it will be on its way. To sell an item, simply select the sell tab, click the item you'd like to sell, decide a unit price for that item and how many of that item you'd like to get rid of. Hit confirm and your auction will be live. Now the last thing you'll need to know if you happen to own multiple plots of land, is how to transfer resources from one plot to another. To do this, first click on the Resource Transfer tab. From here, you'll be able to select what resource you want to send, 
how much you wanna send, and where you want to send it to. You can prepare up to five packages at any time, but you can only send one package at a time, and the further away the plot is, the more time it'll take to transfer that package. Now, anytime assets are transferred or you buy something from the auction house, you'll have to pick up that package from the post portal. But please keep in mind, in order to transfer resources from one plot to another, you need to toggle this button in the top right corner. And with that, you should have all the knowledge you need to begin your journey. As for the rest, I'll let you discover that on your own. I'll see you in the homeland.